Okay, for this I'm just going to give you a little tutorial in making um, a replacement pitot uh, for the Airfix Lightning. Really quite necessary. Uh, here's the uh, pitot that comes in the kit. Uh, I think you can see it's um, it's, it's pretty messy. Um, there's a, as I've already spoken about in another video, I'm quite concerned at the amount of flash and uh, poor moulding that's turning up even just uh, less than a year after this lightning was released. But something like the pitot tube is um, a, a great great case in point um, in terms of, you know, are you going to try cleaning that up really or are you just going to look to replace it? I mean my argument is it needs replacing and uh, fortunately it's fairly easy to do. So first things first is that the Peter on the Lightning um, mount at the very end of the nose, there's a little mounting uh, point um, that uh, uh, the pito goes into. Um, and what I use for this is uh, <coughs> Albion, uh, Albion Alloys telescoping brass tube. They do a set which has a 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1mm um, pieces of tube. Uh, they are telescoping, they all slide fit into each other and to create this pitot tube uh, we're actually going to be using all uh, all four sizes of um, of this tubing. Okay, So the first thing to do is uh, to create our mounting point. Okay, So we'll take all this uh, tube out. Um, you can see if I organise it in size order for you. Okay. So, as you can see, there's uh, there's four pieces there. So we've got the one millimeter, the 0.8, the 0.6, and the 0.4. So obviously, the first piece is going to be our uh, 0.4. Sorry, I got that about as wrong as I could get it, couldn't I? Uh, our first piece is going to be the. Uh, one millimeter to create the mounting point in the on the model for our uh, pitot tube. Okay, so I've drilled um, drilled out a, a mounting point. Okay, and then it's just a case of letting a small piece of um, tube in there. The beauty of the Albion alloy stuff. <coughs> is that being brass tube it's very easily cut just rolling it with a knife. Okay, apply a bit of pressure that's how easy it is. You can see how quickly I managed to um, manage to snip that. Okay, So carefully use a knife to deburr any internal edges because like I said you want this to be telescoping and it's difficult if you've got burred edges. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so the next size down, okay, is our is our 0.8 millimeter. So I'm just going to check that I've got a nice sliding fit. Okay, and as you can see, our uh, telescoping tube telescopes as we want okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place that in the nose like so now what you want is you want to be sure okay that the uh, you don't block the end off because we're going to super glue this in I just want to make that a tiny little bit shorter okay and as you can see again you can see how easy it is Okay, so that's a tiny little bit shorter, so let's get that out. And to glue it in place, all I'm going to use is uh, zapper gap. Okay, so we use any, I quite often use the uh, an upturned uh, paint jar for that. We need a cocktail stick. 
Okay, just going to add a little bit of super glue around there. Okay, and then we're going to pop pop our piece into place like so. Okay, and I hope you can see how that's looking now it's in place. So with it in place, I'm just going to flood a bit more of our super glue around it, creating a bit of a fillet. This isn't a perfect representation of the real thing, I, I, I freely admit that, but it, it, it is pretty good. So just flood a little bit of that around there. Okay. And if you let that set naturally. Now if the uh, super glue does get into your piece of tubing, you just take a 0.8mm drill, just pop it through there to clear out any super glue. So that's our mounting point made. Okay, so now we need to move on to the actual um, the actual pitot itself. So we know that um, looking at our pitot here, we've got uh, let's just snip that off actually. This is this pitot tube is such a mess that I'm just gonna use my snips to snip it off, clear up as much of the rubbish as I can very quickly. Okay. Now looking at the lightning's uh, pitot, we've got a constant section. Um, uh, with a very small uh, actual tip. Um, so what we want to do is you want to get the constant section cut to length. Okay, so we're using our uh, pito here, the airfix pito to judge. So you want a little bit extra because, as I said, it's going to actually go into our mounting point that we've already created. Okay, so. A little bit extra like so, okay. Roll it. And there you go, we're through. Take a fine sanding uh, sanding pad or sanding stick. Just give it a very, very light. Again, use a very use a um, a knife blade. Okay, be careful you don't slip here or you'll quite clearly cut yourself. So I'm just doing that. Just deburring each side. Okay. Now the actual tip I want to use the uh 0.4mm tube for, okay, because it, it looks better. But obviously the 0.4 into the 0.8 is a, a sloppy fit whereas you want it centralized so in order to achieve that what we need to do is use a little bit of the 0.6 to create a, um, a, a sleeve for that to go between our other two okay so it only has to be a tiny little bit alright tiny little bit And then with that cut off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleeve that into. I am going to sleeve it in there, honestly. There's no two ways about it. You're dealing with very thin bits of um, of tube. Okay, so I'll just pop that in there. I'm just going to add a tiny little drop of super glue to the joint and then push it back. Okay, so now what we've got with this piece of tube, okay, is a 0.8 exterior and we've sleeved the interior size down to 0.4 so that our 0.4 tube will now sleeve into there um, and be um, central. So we're just going to cut a little piece of this off Okay, and then we're going to 
sleeve it in to our point four like so. Okay. So hopefully you can see how that is sleeved in there now. All right. We're going to use another bit of super glue to create the joint. And we know, he says, promptly dropping the original Beto tube. So there's our uh, there's our replacement tube made, okay, uh, against the original. I think you'll agree it's a, it's a little bit superior. So all I'm going to do now is I know, okay, because of the angle that our mounting tube has gone in at into the model, okay. I know that, as you can see, it's got a significant down angle. All right. So what I need to do is get our overall length, like so. Okay. And this is another beauty. So we know that it's going to be that much. Okay. And then you can bend this tube like so. Okay, I'm just going to cut a little bit of the excess away. Okay, and so we've got this. Um, hopefully, you can see that it's got a slight kink in the end now. Okay, so we're going to push it in again. Sorry, this bit isn't probably isn't on camera, but okay. So we've gone the other way. So now it's just a case of we know it's pushed home. So you just need to straighten it out a little bit, like so. And that's it. Okay. So like I say, the mounting point, I've rushed a bit there, it's not as good as I've done on some of my others, but you can see that the actual pitot tube itself, once you've straightened it up, is vastly superior to, um, to that. So there's a quick primer on making a pitot tube for your lightnings. Now I've got to go and make another one of these now because I managed my cat managed to break one of the pito tubes on one of my existing ones, so I'm I'm about to make another one of these. Um, so, but I hope that's a bit of a uh, just a quick tutorial on making a pito tube, um, and um, I'll be with you soon when we discuss and look at um, the rest of the lightning, which is approaching the point where I finish the interior off uh, and look to start painting it. So stay tuned, and I'll see you soon.